Oh, guys. <laughs> Happy 30th birthday, Metroid. It was, what, on August the 7th, this past Sunday? And what happened? Nothing happened. It's one of the... Oh, uh, it's really going to be hard for me to try and concentrate playing and talk at the same time. Some people do a lot better. But it's one thing, I guess, you know... Of course, they did something big for Pokemon, and Pokemon's a big cash cow for them, obviously. And, you know, that's more of an easy genre where you can get the kids, and it's more of a light-hearted thing where anyone can really pick up the game and play it. To Metroid, it's an acquired game. Not everyone's going to like a somewhat of a... I just shouldn't say like a really of a dungeon crawler, but it's you know, always backtracking and everything like that. That just throws a lot of people off. And for them not to do anything for it is one of their few flagships of, you know, started back in the heyday of Nintendo. Mario, Legend of Zelda, uh, Metroid, Kid Icarus. There's so many things that were started there, and they don't really care. You know, Konami don't care much about Castlevania. Capcom don't care much about Mega Man, really, it feels. Well, they did release that anniversary disc recently or what what has the first six games in it the anniversary collection or mega i don't know it was a collection disc recently but why nintendo and and I, i'm guilty for a lot of people i did not play another m yet and i heard it rated pretty bad but i like the idea of picking that up and playing it because what that's like the first game i think in the series or is the second in the timeline i forget i just watched the timeline on it the other day i do and then you see the release of what is uh, the Metroid remake they did, AMR2 or something like that, a, another Metroid 2 remix, where they basically, what, improved on Metroid 2, and it looks fantastic. And I don't know if Nintendo took it down yet, or if it will be taken down, but I I'm just surprised. Nintendo doesn't like people using their likeness of characters because maybe they're going to get the face somewhere then someone's not going to take the property the way they want to see it again that's understandable that's their own right but there's so much fan service out there that they don't recognize that can do them good and what's the big deal i mean i guess they ever have to see the project because when the reports came out that they didn't have too much involvement in pokemon go recently so it's like what the hell and it's it's just really upsetting as a big you know end fan i've been with Nintendo since 1986 I got my uh, NES console? No, 87, I'm sorry, because I would have been 5 at the time. I mean, that's a very long time for someone to be into the you know, Nintendo. That's 29 years that I've spent money, my parents spent money. And I'm just so, so like, you just wish they would do more. And the Wii U, I think, with the way the controller pad was set up, was such an ideal console for another Metroid game, only because of the peripheral of the frickin' Wii U pad. Uh, couldn't they have done it in a way of like a, a other M where they could have utilized uh, both 2D and first person? Or is it 2.5D? Well, I don't know. And with the properties, it's, it's another like face smacking incidents it's like what was it last week a buddy texted me which i already knew about it but he's like hey did you see uh every single issue of nintendo powers now online that you can view it and i'm like that's fucking awesome and then what did nintendo do like a half week later they took down the site the thing's already published what are you trying to hide or protect from your company it doesn't make sense to me so I really want to know, like, Nintendo, what is your plans for Metroid? But then, like, you know, Kid Icarus was made at the same time, and I, I enjoyed the Kid Icarus series. It would have been really cool to see a Kid Icarus on a 16-bit console. I still didn't play, uh, what was that, Kid Icarus' is Rising, Awakening, something like that. But the second installment on the regular Game Boy, what was that, 89 or 1990 came out? That was awesome. I really enjoyed that game a lot. I, you know, I can understand Nintendo can't do everything all the time with all their games and stuff like that. You don't want to be too repetitive, make the same game so many times like a Mega Man game in a series. But 
some of the Super Mario games are getting a little mundane. I mean, don't get me wrong. I played, uh, what did I recently play that I bought? Mario 3D Land or Mario 3D World or something like that. That's got some different things, but yet some throwbacks. And I really enjoy that game. And just even, even a Nintendo Direct or like a lot of people subscribe to the YouTube channel for Nintendo. Even making a short video on it. It's like, like Commonwealth Realm or whatever. They made a nice video that put the whole timeline together. It's like people are doing more for it than Nintendo does. And that's just sad to see. Uh, so that's just my quick little rant about it and everything so i don't know what's your thoughts and feelings throw the comment below and all that jazz hey this is red rocks until next time drink one on me and i promise you i i didn't just become a let's play channel i just been busy recently and i thought you know i'd get a couple of these let's play done so again until next time drink one on me